our quest to find really cool banknotes from around the world. We talked to a dealer who specialized in not banknotes, but stocks and bonds. Well, stocks and bonds have to do with, um, with companies. If you want to start a company, you need to raise capital so you can put out shares. If your company does well, the shareholders will be very happy. I won't, because I won't get them. But if your company uh, goes bust or is taken over by another company, all the documents become uh, archival documents and uh, well, they're up for collectors. So um, we're having um, financial history before us and it's company history. Now, bonds can be issued by companies like railroad companies, but also by the government. And if they're really paid back, everything on the dot, you won't find them. But if uh, there's been some slight problems with uh, the payments, they become collectibles. And what are some examples of the coolest stocks and bonds you have? Oh yeah, well, uh, this one I prefer. Stock from Belgian Congo. Um, Belgium had carved out a huge colony in the middle of Africa, the Congo, which is now the Democratic Republic of Congo, capital is called Kinshasa. In the Belgian time, all the towns had names in French or in Dutch, and um, Belgian companies, they did everything. Foresting, gold mining, uh, tobacco, anything. And this was a foresting company. So at the bottom, you can see these small trains on narrow gauge, bringing tropical woods back to the harbor. And at the bottom, alas, there is this lady with an elephant tusk. Now in those days, elephant tusks were still very tradable and highly priced and it was an extra bonus if you are a coffee planter or a woodlogger and you could um, kill off some elephants on your plantation, pure profit. What kind of value on that one? Um, this one I would put a, a value um, 40, to 50, 40 to 50 euros or 40 to 50 dollars if you like. Um, very beautiful fees, quality is very good. Um, let's say in stocks and bonds we're a bit less finicky than the, the banknote guys. We still know the difference between good and ugly, but uh, let's say this is considered to be good quality. It's not perfect, but it's good quality. Alas, it's not exceedingly rare because they printed a lot of them. And if you want to know how much they printed, well, just read how large the capital of the company was and then you can calculate them on your fingers. So this is a company uh, from Antwerp in Belgium and they made airplanes uh, in 1912. Now the Wright brothers hadn't flown that much before, so 1912 is still pioneering. Uh, biplanes, wooden frames, uh, motorcycle motors in it and they didn't do very well. Uh, technology, they, technology they were outpaced like nothing and they paid out dividends with these coupon sheets when there were profits. Now only one coupon is missing, so that means they only had one profitable year. And what makes collecting Belgian stocks super interesting is the backside of the securities. It's super for Belgium. They print complete extracts of the foundation of the company. So you know what they made, where they made it, who was in the company, what they were going to do with the profits. So it's super easy to follow. But it's unique to Belgium. One more. One more. Okay. Um, Are you called anything? Yeah. Well, this is an American security. Um, it's way different from European securities. They have their own styling, um, a lot of beautiful, beautiful engravings and very American themes. So you see two Native Americans watching the railroad in the far. And American securities are registered securities 
which means that the name of the owner is on the security. And if you're lucky, you can find old securities with the name of a famous person. What kind of value on that one? Well, this one I value about um, 20 to 25 dollars. Now, it's just like in banknotes, when I say a price, you're supposed to say a lower price <laughs> and we make a deal. Um, a real nice company, been active for a very long time. And maybe one more. Yep. Yeah. Whoops. Now, this is a company that's not an American company. It's an English company. But they did taxes in New York. Um, the English have been very active all over the globe, beginning of the century. And um, this is one of the famous companies in the taxi wars in New York. Um, it's a piece written in English and part in French. And it was really meant to be traded on the European exchanges. Hence the uh, English and French on the piece. And this is part of the English text. So you know all about the company. And this is not a stock, it's a bond. So that means you invest 20 pounds and you will get some kind of fixed interest every year. And after the bond is redeemed, you will get your 20 pounds back if the taxi company is still alive, of course. Which in this case it wasn't.